Circular flow of income by Camilla Chadder. So what is the circular flow of income? The circular flow of income is an economic model which depicts how an economy on a most basic level functions. Starting point. We start by observing that two economic agents exist in an economy. One, households. They own factors of production such as land, labor, capital, enterprise and demand goods and services. 2. Firms. They use factors of production and turn them into goods and services because they seek rewards, which is not only money but recognition etc. Before we go on, you may be wondering what about the government, other countries we trade with? They are all valid economic agents, but the whole point of economics is to formulate simple models which allow us to experiment. But the circular flow of income model is based on three assumptions. 1. The economy operates with closed trade, which means no international trade exists. 2. No government exists. And 3. No economic agent saves any money. All money received is spent. We will see in a short while what actually happens when these assumptions are removed. But for now, let me explain how the two economic agents, firms and households, are engaged in this model. What happens is households own the factors of production which firms demand in order to produce the goods and services because for reasons stated above they seek rewards. So a trade takes place. Households sell land for rent, labour for wage, capital for interest, profits and dividends and finally enterprise by which I mean entrepreneurial skill for recognition and a salary. This is demonstrated by the arrow shown on the diagram. On the other end, firms sell these goods and services to households in return for payment, which if provides sufficient revenue, not only encourages a firm to keep on producing goods and services, but attracts more firms into the industry. It is important to note two things. In some places, this model is depicted with four stops in the circle. Firms, households, market for goods and services, and market for factors for production. These markets simply denote that trade is taking place between some form of money and goods and services or factors of production. The second thing to note is that these arrows are incredibly important when we look at more serious models of circular flow of income. For example, the goods and services one can denote um, from the goods and services arrow, sorry, one can denote the national output, and from the rent, wage, and profit arrow, one can denote the national income. So now to make the model more realistic, in reality we know that there are three assumptions the no government international trade or savings are incorrect, albeit at different levels and powers in different countries. But we do know they exist and they come under what we term in economics as leakages and injections. Leakages and injections are external sources of money uh, which either come in or out of an economy. So injections are external sources whereby money is gained in an economy and there are three of these which can be remembered by the mnemonic GXI, government spending, exports, so foreign money and investment. Leakages, conversely, are SMT, so you can remember it's senior management team, um, savings, imports and taxations. They're merely opposites and we can add an additional arrow to show these to make the model more realistic. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog.